Hey, Facebook and Instagram. Let me uh, check my volume real quick. This is going to be quite interesting because um, my dogs are in here and my kids are running right outside the window and they will probably um, bark. But let me just get started. Um, if this is your first time watching me, welcome. My name is Kathleen Paredes and I live in Rosenberg, Texas in a, let me turn this off, in a little suburb. Um of Houston. So I wanted to come on today. I'm just waiting for my dogs to start barking and I apologize if they do. And I see that Brian's on. And so baby, if you hear them barking, please come get them. Um, so today has been four weeks exactly since the last time I had my hair um, dyed and I did like a really dark uh, magenta. And so I wanted to show you like how light it is now. Oh gosh, of course it's Zoe. Of course, it's Zoe making it like, okay. I'm going to try not to get distracted by my dogs, but like my dog drives me crazy. Oh yeah. So four weeks and it's like super light now. You can still see some color, but like really, um, a lot less than it was. So before I jump into that, um, Brian just asked me, I don't know, like was it last night, baby, or two nights ago, uh, we were invited to some Halloween party this month and he and it's mandatory dress up do you guys dress up for halloween or you just dress your kids up like brian and i are usually fuddy duddies um so we'll see we've dressed up like once and it wasn't even really extravagant but yeah what do you what are you going to be this year if you do dress up um zoe's not barking so i'm going to keep this going like i said four weeks from here i'm going to set my hair appointment pretty soon and i was like you know what i have so many people compliment me on my hair and I never dyed it fun colors before until I've been doing it for, I don't know, like five months or something. And um, knew nothing about it. So three quick tips. Know that it's not permanent. I didn't know that the very first time and my heart was broken. I was like, oh my God, I'm getting pink in my hair. This was a year ago. I tried it one time. And the girl that did my hair at the time didn't tell me that it was semi-permanent or demi-permanent or whatever. I know there's a difference, but, and it was literally gone in a week. And I was like, I sat in the salon for three hours and my hair, it was washed. I was so sad. I was so disappointed. So I didn't try it for several more months. And so know that it's not permanent, but it should last. If you take, take care of it, it should last four weeks. Like this has been four weeks and there's still some color in it. Uh, but it's definitely time to go and have it done again. So it's not permanent, so my suggestion is go darker, be bolder about it. Um, don't be scared to experiment with it. I started off, I really wanted light pale pink, and um, that just isn't going to work on my hair. It's just going to wash right out. And so if you've followed me for a little bit now, you've seen I've done dark purple, magenta. I've done blends of pinks and purples. Um, and then, like I said, you see how light it ends up getting. And so it's really vibrant at first for the first few washes and, like, then after that, I mean, it just fades pretty much each time. So go, go bolder, um, go darker for sure. And I get mine underneath. I need, oh my God, I need highlights so bad. I should have done this after I got my hair done. But so I do mine underneath and they're called peekaboo highlights instead of doing all over. Like that's a little bit too funky for me, but to each their own. Go barker, barker, bolder and darker and um, wash your hair in cool water like every time. And that doesn't sound fun, but like for whatever reason, and I'm not a hair person, but when you wash it with the hot water, it comes out, um, it comes out a lot sooner. So wash with cool water, rinse with cool water. Um, I don't use a special shampoo. I know some are told to, but like my stylist said that I'm good with what I'm currently using. So, um, I didn't have to buy any special shampoo. And the third one is don't do it yourself. Go to a salon. Oh my God. I can't even imagine doing this myself. And like, um, it would just be a mess and it's not that expensive to add color on to like, if you're already getting a color treatment, um, my salon is awesome. And I will tell you where I go and who I see if you do want to know that, but yeah, don't do it yourself. I wouldn't. Um, I think that the stuff that they can buy is better than like what we can go to the store and get. I'm not so sure, but I know that I know that. Her name Spencer does a much better job than I do. So three quick tips, go darker, be bolder about it. Don't be scared to experiment and what is it? Wash with cool water and have it done. So if you do want to know if you live local to me and want to know where I go to get my hair done, um, 
just send me a message and I'll give you the address. They're awesome. I love it. I'm there every month, obviously, to get my hair done. And yeah, that's it. Go Boulder and have a great evening, you guys.